How are you guys doing? My name is Nick, you're watching Urbex Cross, and today I'm out here at a little undisclosed location, and I'm on my KTM 250 EXEF. I have a nice little practice area here with some hill climbs. There's a whole little area back here that I've made into somewhat of a track, and I've just been doing kind of 15, 20 minute motos out here just to get a little bit of physicality going. Stretch the muscles, get the fingers moving, get the heart rate up, and just get some good exercise. It's one of my favorite things about riding is just, you get great exercise. It's, it's tough holding on to these beasts and just letting them eat, you know? So without further ado, I'm gonna do about a 10 or 15 minute moto here, about 80 or 90% pace. And to those who are new to the channel, I just started riding a year ago. So this is still very new to me. And this KTM, I'm still learning it day by day. So let's get right into it. I'll give you some commentary as we go too. But to start it off, let's do a little hill climb. Those of you who've watched the channel before have probably seen me practice here at this area. Uh, it's probably changed a little bit though since you've last seen it. There's a little bit more tree growth and whatnot. Yeah, so that's the hilly area. And then over here, kind of like the flat track area. I guess you could say, kind of hugs the, the woods here. Holy cow. And then there's a little whoop section right here that's kind of fun. Kind of slow the front tires for it, you know. Duck under the tree. Sloppy wet right there. Right around this little tree line here into the little shamrock field, as you can see. Shamrocks are so slippery, dude. I swear. So a little straightaway into this turn right here. Loops back down through here. Another straightaway, but this straightaway has like an off camber right here so you gotta be really easy on the throttle and then i've been incorporating the hill climb we started out except this one is a little bit more techy not as steep but definitely requires some delicate clutching in between some trees and some body weight adjustment stuff we'll do a little steep downhill guy here Those of you who are not new to the channel, you recently watched me do a cross-country race for the first time. That was a couple weeks ago. It was an absolute blast. It's probably the most fun I've ever had doing maybe anything ever. You know, it was so much really fun. But I was riding at like probably 90% my ability. And uh, because of that, after one lap, completely gassed myself out at this big hill, and I had nothing left after that. So I don't want to say I'm training, so I don't really care what positions I come in, but I'm just trying to get a little bit more seat time on the bike, a lot more exercise, and then hopefully do a, a full cross-country race, start to finish on these things, because it was a blast. This time, let's do the steeper hill climb on the left. That was sloppy. <laughs> then we'll do the techie part going down, which I think, yeah, is right over this way. Yeah, I would have completely eaten shit on that hill in the past. But what's helping is using the clutch traction so like before i would just try to throttle it out might have looped the bike might have just killed the bike so the clutch helps in both regards on stuff like that those of you who are way more experienced already know stuff like that but i did not until probably a couple months ago my buddy tanner from adventure 
Daily hit me up on that tip. That was sick! Man, those are fun floating the roof like that. Holy crap, <laughs> these shamrocks are ice. new to me. I mean, I try to stand as much as I can, but I was kind of doing the, like, I guess you call it the ADV style stand, where you just stand straight up with your nuts on the tank. And, uh, that has gotten me into some sketchy scenarios. Because uh, that's not really where you want your body weight. Not to poo-poo on any adventure riders, so those are much bigger bikes, so maybe they feel a lot safer doing that, but uh, it's important, I guess. Keep the knees bent. Keep the knees behind the foot pegs. I don't know, I'm still new to this shit, so don't listen to me. <laughs> so I'm have an absolute blast. This bike is freaking powerful, dude. For my second bike ever, I had a KLX 250 before this, which taught me everything I know about riding. But dude, this 250 EXEF, Something different. <laughs> it's been fully uncorked. I've got a video on the channel here of all the stuff I've done to this bike to make it sound and breathe like the beast that she is. Man, I'm feeling good. I did a 40 mile bike ride yesterday. Woo. And the endurance has already helped me a little bit rode from Indianapolis all the way up to Greenfield, Indiana, which is probably a 35, 40 minute drive out there. So it's a bit on a cycle bike, that's for sure. This off camera, I'm gonna eat shit on one day. It's so freaking slippery. All right. We'll do this slow guy. But we'll do it in a second here. Cook it with a little bit more speed today. I gotta be careful because right over there is an absolute drop off into a creek. So, <laughs> one of those things. I don't know how many laps we've done or what time we're getting here. But like I said, I'm not trying to push 100 or super high percentage. I'm just trying to practice a pace that I could potentially maintain for a cross country. And dude, to be completely honest, body position is huge for maintaining some stamina. Leaning forward when you're accelerating. Leaning back when you're slowing down, man, it just helps a lot. first started I brought the KLX up here. Bro, I ate shit multiple times trying to do these hills. So it's been uh, a labor of love trying to learn them. Shit is hard, dude. My right hand on the throttle is getting a little bit tired. Probably death gripping a little too hard. I need to probably loosen my grip, relax, find a slower pace. That's something that, on the cross-country race, I was not really paying much attention to signs and stuff like that. I would just push as hard as I could until my hands were dead, and I'd have to stop, and I'd lose time. So, yeah. Keep it 
loosey goosey. Let the bike dance around. Holy crime! Okay. A little bit too much speed there. But it's all good. Alright, this is gonna be the last lap this direction. We'll switch directions. My camera didn't record the first 25 minutes of evening out here, so. I've basically done a freaking 50 minute moto at this point. I'm a little tired. But... Such a blast, dude. Love me some hill climbs, man. mobility in the hand back but after you tense up when some crazy shit happens dude it's like your body just gets adrenaline dumped you get super tired. oh yeah that was supposed to be my last lap so let's start going this way Then a little jump. Not right, cool. Whoa. Holy cow. I haven't gone this way much, so it'll take me a second to feel this one out. Like that wider circle though, that's kind of fun. The right side of that hill is way steeper, that is for damn sure. What time do we got here? About 12.5. What the frick? I'm going the right freaking way. Dang it, or the wrong freaking way. <laughs> Remember this little turn here is a little weird because you can't quite see. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, straight away into the shamrocks. Tokyo drift, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy crap! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. That was freaked up. Pull the clutch in there, I would have looped it and died. But dude, isn't this a pretty good little track? Like, it's a great little spot. The dirt right now is primo. It's great. I gotta remember to turn left out of here. That's what I wasn't doing. Yep. <laughs> Overshot it right there. Off cameras, man. Rock 
drifting the back. Hey! I know you saw that from first person. But from third person. That shit was pretty tight. Alright, finger on the clutch as we approach these whoops. Stay a little on the gas. Yeah, that's sketchy. As soon as you clear the second one, the last whoop just freaking becomes a ramp. biggest things that has helped me with turning like that at speed is waiting the opposite pace to where you're turning. That has helped tremendously. So if you're not really used to cornering with a decent amount of speed, try waiting the opposite side peg and kind of pushing the tire into the ground, you know what I mean? It definitely helps. There we go, we got the right pace. Drift in this mug. Oh my god. I was still Tokyo drifting when I should have been uh, not. So, there's that. Alright, whoops. Be nice in here. Woo! Logs. Slippery, slippery logs. I'm just gonna take these uh, control pace. Yeah, jump out of the last one. That seems a little faster. Right here, I'm waiting this right foot around this turn a lot, and I'm leaning the bike. Just let it eat, she'll hold. Same with this way, waiting the left peg, push the bike down. Ooh, that sounded violent. I love the sound of that. Yeah, it's cool being able to ride these on the KLX back when I first found this spot, and then riding it on this. It's the amount of confidence and ability that I feel like I have better now. Alright, off camera. Come on, do me good. There we go! There we go. We did good. I kind of had to cut the turn a little sharp. Okay. Alright. Last lap into the And that's it. I don't know how long that was, but that was a good little endurance practice session, man. Had some hills. Had some other fun shit. That was a blast, man. I appreciate you guys hanging on with me through that. If you enjoy this, I'll have to come back here again sometime. And cut a few motos through here. This shit was super fun. So if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how much I suck at riding. How much better you are. Guys, in the next one. Peace.